Test 8, Part 1. Number 1. Hey Mary, will you be available at 2 p.m. today? Yes, I should be. Why, what's up? I want to call a meeting about the New Deal. Blank. Number 2. Our boarding time has changed. Blank. Right, it's been put back 20 minutes. So, 2.50? Okay, maybe I will do some shopping then. Number 3. Do you know the date of the biology test? Yes, it's May 18th. Blank. Oh, that's good. I was worried it was sooner. No, it's okay. We can relax. Number 4. What are you doing tomorrow? I finish work at 6 p.m. and I want to go to the gym after that. Blank. Okay, but let's make it quarter to 8 so that I have more time after the gym. Number 5. I'm going to a hot spring in the Emerald Mountain Range. You should come along. The Emerald Mountains are hard to travel over. It's a difficult hike. Right. Blank. But it is really beautiful once you're there. Trust me. It sounds like it'll be a memorable trip, and it would be nice to hang out. I'm in. Number 6. What time do you get off work tomorrow? The same time as usual, 6 o'clock. Blank. I only stay until 7 if I want to finish the job. Number 7. Would you care to join me for dinner? Sure, why not? I get off work at 6 o'clock. Blank. We can check out that new Italian place. Sounds good. Number 8. Blank. I have no idea. Who was it? Jane. Wow, Jane's back in town? That's great news. Number 9. Hey, Rachel. What did you do during summer vacation? My family and I went to a beautiful island in the Maldives for two weeks. I'm jealous. I didn't go anywhere. My parents prefer to save money. Blank. Number 10. Thanks for the invitation, but I can't make it to the party. That's a pity. I wanted you to be there. I really need to start looking for an apartment, Winnie. I understand. Blank. Part 2. Number 11. Hey, I know it starts at 1 o'clock, but I'll be there early to help you get things going. A. Do you think you'll be on time today? B. No, I won't be there one hour before. C. That's an excellent idea. Thanks. Number 12. Do you have time to go see a movie tomorrow night? A. Yes, I'm free after 6 o'clock. B. No, it's not 6 o'clock right now. C. Yes, I watched it for a short time. Number 13. Rita hasn't been showing up for class lately. A. The movie will be showing at 11.20. B. She was sick for a while, then she came back. C. Haven't you heard? She's changed schools. Number 14. Hey, you were born in May, right? A. I may or may not come. I don't know. B. Yes, on the 4th. My star sign is Taurus. C. No, I was born at 7 o'clock. Number 15. 
Hi, I'd like to make an appointment with Dr. Lin for 3.30 today. A. Yes, 3.30 tomorrow is possible. Thanks. B. Would you like to see one of our doctors? C. I'm sorry, Dr. Lin is not available today. Number 16. What time do you set your alarm clock? A. I set it for 7 o'clock, but I get up at 7.30. B. I'll meet you at 6.30 tomorrow. C. I go to bed around 12 o'clock most nights. Part 3. Questions 17 to 19 refer to the following conversation. Hey, James. The music club is having a meeting today at lunchtime. Are you available? I'm tied up after 1.30. What time is the meeting? The meeting is at 1 o'clock, but it should be finished before 1.30. Don't worry. Okay, thanks for asking me. It sounds fun. Where should we meet? We're going to meet in the classroom opposite the teacher's room. I know the one. It's just next to one of the science rooms. Number 17. What does the woman want the man to do? Number 18. When will the man be busy? Number 19. Where are they going to meet? Questions 20 to 22 refer to the following conversation. Jack, would you like to come to my Halloween event next month? It's going to be a big party. Thanks for asking. I'd love to. How many people do you have in mind? Actually, I've only asked you and Fiona so far, but I'm planning to invite 50 people this week. 50 is a big number. You'll have to organize a lot of stuff. Not too much. I'll ask people to bring their own food and drink. Do you know the location? I don't, but please send me your address closer to the date. Number 20. When is the woman going to have a party? Number 21. How many people has the woman invited to the party so far, including the man? Number 22. What will the woman do to make sure she doesn't have to organize too much? Part 4. Questions 23 to 25 refer to the following talk. These days, people are busier than ever and life is not as simple as it once was. As a result, it can be difficult to organize yourself and get things done. One way to deal with this problem is not to speed up, but actually to slow down. Turn your phone off. Turn that music off. Okay, ready? Now, what is the most important thing you need to do today? Don't worry about everything else. Just focus on that one thing in particular. If it's a big task, don't worry yourself thinking, I'm going to keep going until this is done, but consider giving yourself a time limit instead. For example, say to yourself, I'm going to spend two hours working on this. You'll be surprised how quickly things get done. Congratulations! Your day is already a success. Number 23. Which of the following is not a way to organize yourself, according to the speaker? Number 24. What does the speaker say you should focus on? Number 25. What does the speaker suggest saying to oneself in order to get things done?